You might be saying to yourself, is that a gimp mask? Am I looking at somebody's like Mr. Slave? Are we about to watch some lady peg this dude? Is this guy about to get on all fours in spandex and bark like a dog while he's choking on some lady's pump? No. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today's video, I'm gonna be drawing the one, the only Dr. Doom. So stay put and uh, yeah, your eyes aren't deceiving. You actually do dress like I walked out of a cartoon show from 1985. Stick around. <laughs> Okay, boys and girls, let's start with the thumbnails. As you know, I like to plan what I'm going to be doing in the piece, and the best way to do that is with some rough sketches. Just super loose. Let me figure out my camera angle. Let me figure out what kind of pose I'm gonna be using. Let me see uh, how close the camera is gonna to be to the, um, to the subject. Blah, 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 blah. I ended up choosing a portrait because I wanted to get into the nitty gritty of Dr. Doom's face mask. Now, for those of you who aren't like myself, and we're like, yeah, Dr. Doom, I think I've seen this guy. What's his deal? Because it, let's be honest, with the mask, it might throw you off a little bit. You might be saying to yourself, is that a gimp mask? Am I looking at somebody's like Mr. Slave? Are we about to watch some lady peg this dude? Is this guy about to get on all fours in spandex and bark like a dog while he's choking on some lady's pump? No, that is not the case. Get those dirty, nasty, naughty thoughts right the hell out of your brain because I don't think that mask is sexual at all, unless there's some like really dark Marvel stories that I'm not aware of. I should probably go back to the drawing. Yeah, let's go back to the drawing. I'm breaking down what I want his portrait to look like. Oh, look at me, I'm adding some textures right now. For those of you who don't know, I am a complete dirty whore for textures. I love them, I can't get enough of them. I overuse them. To anybody who knows me, uh, I always need, need to dial back the amount of texture I put in my thing, whatever it is I'm drawing. I'm gonna tell you a little something about me, kids. Gather around. Don't worry, it's nothing creepy or weird. I'm not the one in the gimp mask and the uh, with the BDSM stuff. No. What I like is textures. Textures, textures, textures. Give me a uh, paper texture. Give me grit texture. Weathering, screen tone, half tone, metal reflection. Jeez, you name it. Look at this. I'm going crazy with the tone. Somebody tell this fool to chill. Take it down a notch. Take it down several notches. I'm as bad as J.J. Uh, Abrams is with those lens flares, which by the way, guess what is another thing I like to add too much of. However, there is a method to my madness. If you look and you see to the left and right of his cape, it's tattered and it's coming apart. It looks ratty. It's little minor details like that that help bring the entire image to life. A friendly reminder to like, share, subscribe, especially if you want more content like this, make sure to tap that notification bell. You guys are awesome. And if you don't like this content, fuck off. <laughs> no, no. no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Have a good day, have a good day. Word to the wise to any fellow texture sluts out there, make sure that you vary the textures. If you use the same type of texture on everything, you might as well just fucking have no contrast whatsoever. It's, it's gonna read flat. All the surfaces are gonna read the same. It's gonna be a complete mess. So although I go crazy, I have the common courtesy to vary it. For example, the background texture doesn't match the texture on his metal amulets there. It doesn't ma match the texture on his face. Then it certainly doesn't match the texture on his cloak. And remember the reason why you're doing all this. It's to sell a two-dimensional image as three dimensions. When the viewer is looking at this, they should see just in your shorthand that things vary, that the metal reflection is happening. The metal reflection is actually varied between his mask and his little amulets, and there's practically no reflection on his cape. So be, be mindful, gang. And since we're being mindful in regards to textures, let's also be mindful in regards to light. What are the light sources in this? Mm, light sources there are. Yeah, that's, that's right, horrible Yoda impression. I have him backlit. The light is coming from behind him and above him. It's primarily hitting his cape from behind. However, there is a light source directly in front of his face, and that is his amulet and his little chains there. Those will be helping pop the metal of his face under lighting him. 
So you have two varying light sources, and let's not even get into ambient occlusion. You should probably Google that for any light nerds. If you want the Cliff's notes of it, light is constantly bouncing. Therefore, the light coming off his little metal thingies there, they're going to hit his face, but then after they hit his face, they're going to bounce within the inside of his cape, and it's going to light's going to be bouncing all over the place. Nothing is absolute. So keep that in mind whenever you're working. Also, shout out to my friend Bale, who did the flats and laid down the primary colors for this. All I did was just tweak them here, which is what you see me just uh, hitting the color balance, hitting the curves, hitting um, a bunch of gradient maps, and just tweaking things to my content because I'm a huge uh, tinkerer. I'm constantly tinkering with colors and I'm constantly tinkering with varying stuff. As you see, all these little flashes here, all these little flashes here are me trying. And what about this filter? What if I desaturate this? What if I increase the saturation here? What if I darken this? Uh, yeah. Don't be like me, friends. <laughs> Have a better plan when you're working, but I think this came out pretty good. Thanks for watching. Big, big, big thank you to everybody who made it to the end of the video. You guys are awesome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you've liked what you've seen. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to my Twitch subscribers. Thank you to my, well, everybody who's been supporting me. Y'all are great. We're trying to hit a thousand on YouTube, so each subscription matters. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you, thank you, thank you.